Yeah, we've got a uh, got a fork or whatever it's called. I don't even know. And that's it for today. That was the uh, mortar. The best. It's like meringue. That bloody sabre saw just goes straight through it, which means. No dust for the neighbours. No dust for the neighbours and these should just come out with these tomorrow. Morning. Morning. Repping the new, uh, new workwear. New workwear. Very stylish. That's it's uh, What day is it today? Is it Thursday? Yeah, it is. Thursday today, and we've got a we've got a few we've got a few jobs to do on this one. But uh, today first, we're taking these uh, stones out there and there, and we're just blocking them up for uh, for rendering. It's going to be rendered to match the render at the top there. To match the men, which is getting redone. Come around to match that rendering, which is going to get redone, and then so that's today's job, and then tomorrow. We're going to uh, get a 10 foot lintel, we can show you. This. This bad boy in there. This has actually been calculated by a structural engineer and fabricated especially for this job. And it's been galvanised. So it should, it should last. And it's very heavy. And it's never going to bend it up stand like that. So this is why there's two of us doing this lintel. So I'm not even attempting to pick it up yet. <laughs> So uh, uh, we're repointing from, I think we're doing the whole front up to the upstairs lintel. The pike's not getting done, but everything up to there is. And that lintel's getting replaced where the render is. You can see that one's gone pretty bad. That's an it. An it. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I think that's a 2100 that one. Yeah, that's a normal one. I get that from berries. <coughs> yeah, so that's it for now. The first uh, challenge of the day. Yeah. Get these plants out of the way. Yeah. G gently so we can put them back. Yeah. We've got a... Uh, got a fork. Or whatever it's called. I don't even know. <laughs> well, we'll get that done. Right, we've got some out. A few scraggy ones we'll leave in. The big one is proving a bit more difficult. So I'll actually come around here out of the way. So um just took the easy and left me to it. I took some out. Yeah. You look at the bloody tree roots and some of the ones I took out. Yeah, you need some to put this camera. You know, pretty easy, aren't they? Mortar's bloody weak as anything. Yeah. Right, it's this week. Get, get your towel in there. Cut that silicon off. Yeah. Once 
once you break that on the just lever it. Now that should You know, these they come out easy enough. Yeah. Give it a kick. Kick it into the cavity. You should pop it. Put the brake that joint. Pop it. Put it in the top corner. That's it. We're getting a skip today. Yeah. They're out. Oh, right. All the stones out. There it is, waiting to be uh, waiting to be skipped when that arrives. But um, yeah. Again, another easy one. Just as soon as that first one came out, they all just popped off like like loose teeth. <laughs> so um, now I'm just going to knock off all the uh, excess snot so we can insulate it. Then. Uh, Let's just nip the berries to grab the uh, the blocks, blocks, sand, cement, and all all that fun stuff. So I'll just uh, knock them snots out, as I say, and uh, just uh, get a bit set up for when he gets back. Right. Tell we're here. It looks like a bomb's gone off. It's um, warm. I've just been off to get the uh, supplies from berries. So, um, show you what we've got. 37 Newton blocks, meant to be lightweight, but they're not very light. Got a 2.7 keystone angle iron. That's for that window, which is, we're getting that done next week because I've, I've got hold of Malcolm. The scaffolder I used to use lives up Preston way. So he's going to come and put that tower up for us next week, as soon as he gets a minute, and then we can come back and do that. And then we've got the pointing to do, but I want to wait till it's cooled down a bit before I start doing that. Uh, Alex has got all the stonework down, which was easy. Uh, sand and cement, non existent cement in it, uh, no ties in it whatsoever. So we'll be tying in a tie at each end. We're going to put a couple in the brickwork as well. And we're going to make sure it goes in high and they slope away from the brickwork from the inside of the skin because I have so much hassle about that on one of our old videos one one little mistake and I got crucified for it so as they say you learn from your mistakes 
And what else did we get? We've got 10 bags of building sand, the little 25 kilo berries bags, and a couple of bags of plastic cement. That's good stuff, that. And the way stuff's going up, that's quite reasonably priced now. Just over five quid a bag, including that. So, plan now is. Uh, oh, yeah, the Anvil Tool Hire in Leyland has closed down a year ago, so it shows how much I come up here. So we're going to get Gunbora Jeff's tonight. Jeff's got three. And um, we've got one with us, so we can get that one in. Make a little start this afternoon. But priority now is get the block work done. Skip's ordered and coming tomorrow, so we can get all the crap thrown away. Which is a bit of a shame to throw that away. Because that's good stuff. Nothing wrong with it, and you can't get hold of that anywhere. We've got nearly three metres of it. It's what a shame. But... You know, we're not in a position where we can store it or keep it anywhere, so it's got to go in the skip. So we'll leave it leave it there for now, and we'll get a mix in and get loaded out, which is Alex already on with. Right, all loaded. Got a line marked, you probably can't see that. Let me see that one a bit better. Line marked, gauge marked. Hose, hose drilled out for our tyres. Alex is taking this one, setting it back 20 mil. Oh yeah, we're taking that brick out as well. That blown brick. Customer's got one brick, so we're gonna replace that. That one good one, which we can't get hold of. So we have to go easy. And then I'm all set up on the front. Same again. Gauge marked, line marked, and then I've got two two tires drilled out. One, two. Four brick tie, four brick tie, four brick, and um, we're going to just bend our frame ties for that. And I'm going to make sure that they're running down as well because I can't be doing with the abuse. <laughs> so, a uh, quick lunch now, and I'm going to get going after lunch. I uh, don't know if I said this right already, but the skip's coming tomorrow, which is good. No time to eat. We are now, we are on about one o'clock. Mm, 22, Two. 22. Okay, that's not bad. The Alex side's done, bar one and a half blocks. You can see the tyres in the walls. The reason why it's not been finished is plenty of blocks, we just run out of insulation. I've only brought enough for doing the lintels and forgot about doing the windows, so we're a, we're a, a, a third a quarter of a slab short. Yeah, so exactly. I know some people just say I'll brick it up, but no, we'll wait till tomorrow and bring it with us tomorrow. We're going back tomorrow so there's no rush, is there? No. And my side, I'm nearly done. I've got a piece in the middle of mine. And 
I put a tie wires bent in half into a V on the damp course across. We both did that actually to stop the that stop the insulation dropping down. There's our insulation, 50 mil, and there's there's the ties. So got a tie in there with the liners and there, one there, and one there. And I'll just here. yeah, and I'll yeah. just show this one. As you can see, that's quite clearly running down. Which is a pain in the arse to put in, but not as much of a pain in the arse as trying to apply to all the comments who slated me for putting slanty ties in. God, that was a big mistake. Anyway, yeah, I can get the front finished. Oh, it's going to tidy up a bit and then we're going to get a plank set up and get the one acro we've got in and take a hole out. Make a start on it. Skip's coming tomorrow. Oh yeah, Skip's coming to that, yeah. So all this will be sorted we're out. going to throw all this lovely stone in the skip. Which, uh, if you watch, uh, when you watch our video... Tonight? Tonight. No, tomorrow night. Half eight. Friday the 26th? 20... 7th? Friday the 27th of August. That video would have been perfect to have these. Yeah. Poor Paul went backwards and forwards to Lee twice for this stuff and ended up with some different stuff whereas this stuff would have been perfect but you win some you lose some I mean this job was only supposed to be done in October but we've, uh, we have a, a quite a big job coming off in a not too distant future which we can't really talk about at the moment but as soon as we know more we'll let you know yeah fingers crossed that's going to be exciting if that one comes off um, yeah so um, I'll just going to have a bit tidy up I'm going to finish this off and then we'll get set up on this lintel and then we're going to go off and drop some bricks off on the way home. So over and out for a bit. So see if you can manage without strong boys, if we can't, we'll have to fix something. Like, uh, uh, Hodgson's. Hodgson's, yeah. So I'm just thinking of lifting that big heavy lintel in the, the, acros, the acros are too close to the brickwork we're not going to get it in yeah. and it's deep and it's heavy very thick as well yeah very heavy so the big decider for tomorrow is whether this mortar's tough or not I don't think it is judging by the way it's weathered yeah judging by uh, how we pull off the I think the same saw might be on the other because we haven't got much room Have you seen it, have you? It's in a fancy box, not like the, uh, the other ones, is it? It's the reason why I bought it. 
He had a Dewalt one as well that came in fancy box. Dewalt, two blades, two blades. Oh, that's broken. Yeah, he had a little Those are the two blocks, please. One. We are super tight here. Trying to get in here. Luckily, we're behind the silicon line because that's the old stonework. So, we're behind that because we're setting back for the render as you can see. So, get your bed as close to your 10 mil as you, ca as you can, and then sit your block on the wall, lift it up tight against the plastic, and slide it in. And yeah, then you're going to be it. pretty close. Then, show them. They get, a lot, they get a lot heavier when they're in awkward situations, aren't they? Yeah. So, bed's ready. You don't have to be perfect, it's getting rendered. But just to get the gap as small as possible. So there's our bed. So get get all your block, get your finger under this edge, lift it up tight, the plastic, slide in. The last one's going to be the difficult one. Oh, you look, show, show them what the gap is, how small the gap is. Barely, you can't even get a finger under it. That's it. That's that make a good shot for the thumbnail, that then. What? It's like the, the angle got you, you're you level against the block. Yeah. Might be a good one, that. Mm -hmm. No. Do you want to pass me the camera then? You're going to get them for two blocks for me. Okay. If you give me one sec, I yeah. swear. Oh, yeah. And just real quick on my side as well. So besides the uh, wall, there was also a, uh, a blown brick here. So I've just knocked that out, toothed it in, uh, top pointed the mortar and jointed it up. So just a bit of a neat looking brick instead of the big hole that was in the other one. It's a little thing, but you know, every little bit. Um, you can set this back up, I'll fix you your block. You must use the block, I just mean both. <laughs> so, 
So, Tressel's up now. I'm gonna bash a bit of a hole out, see what, see what we find. And um, Craig, the customer's kindly nipped up to the loft and got some insulation for us. Came in clutch and fixed us up. And Alex can finish it now, which is a massive help. So that's it then, we can, oh yeah, I, I think Alex has shown you his brick, hasn't he? Have you shown the brick, Al? I've shown them a brick, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so um, that's it. We can get straight on with this tomorrow with our acros. So um, I'll, I'll start bashing all that and see what happens. Oh yeah, I'll notice. Nice half, right in the middle. And we've got to try and get these all out in one piece. So I'll make sure we get a photograph of that. If we can get them going back exactly the same way. Hopefully. So we're going to take three out. I think we can take three out. Yeah, three out, three should be enough. And then we'll have to multi-tool the um, the cavity tray into the into the brickwork because it's all brick. The internal walls on this. If the mortar's anything to go by on the outside, it won't take much to get that in. Yeah. So big day tomorrow. We should make a start today. And that's it for today. Just uh, emptying the mix out, getting that ready to clean. Set up. And we've got some bricks out ready. It is unbelievable how soft that mortar is. Like, I think it's one of the softest beds we've uh, cleaned out in a uh, lintel job. So, as you can see already, bricks are bloody perfect, spotless. That was the uh, mortar. The best, it's like meringue. That bloody sabre saw just goes straight through it. Which means, no dust for the neighbours. No dust for the neighbours and these should just come out with these tomorrow. And you just stare at just give them a stern look and then the mortar falls off them as well. Yeah, so, and then skip's coming tomorrow so I'll be, uh, I'll be emptying the, the gun. Skip, not emptying the skip. I'll be filling the skip and uh, also again, Nave, uh, Nave, the customer, I can't even talk today, the customer got me some insulation so that's this bit finished off too, backed up with insulation, ties in, job's a good one and obviously as you saw before, dad's bit's done, so, hmm? Bro. Can you fill that, get that mortar put away, please, and I'll get it going. We need to bring paint tomorrow. Paint? We showed the end of the lintel. The end we of the lintel. We have to clean that off with the grinder, which means we're going to have to do paint for it. 
right? That's it. The little bump. That doesn't look much that that's half the bed. Yeah. Okay, so I guess we're doing that tomorrow as well, grinding that off. Re stop the lintel sitting flat, that. Right. So this will stop the lintel sitting flat, so. Cut that off and repaint it then. So we've still got a bit of work out for us tomorrow, but uh, should Just be alright. Lift the, um, our new lintel up and put it next to that one to show the difference. Bloody slave master. Uh, there's the comparison between the uh, lentils. <laughs> Quite a bit of one, isn't there? But I think as Dad said at the start of this video, this one's uh, this one's custom made for this specific uh, window. So that one ain't going anywhere. And by the time we're done with this one, this one won't be going anywhere either. And we've got our silicon ready, sand cement's all here. So hopefully, you shouldn't be wandering off anywhere tomorrow. That's the plan anyway. But, uh, but yeah. Oh my god. I'm, I'm moving out of, out of hearing range. So, that should be the end of this video. Tomorrow is just, uh, Get the lintel done, get cleaned up, and uh, yeah, hopefully that goes all right. It's been a lovely day today, so I'm, I'm wondering what the hell's gonna happen to us tomorrow. But uh, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Hit the bell. I, I can't remember what we have to tell you what to do, but I'm sure you know the drill by now. All that fun stuff. So. Uh, Catch you in the next video, or we'll catch you tomorrow. Or in the next video.